Greetings, and welcome to uh, just another end of the year top 10 list. Uh, because, you know, it's uh, that time of the year where we just rank things and put them into top 10 lists, because uh, that's what the almighty algorithm has decided that we must do at this time of the year. And so, today we're just we're taking a look, uh, you know, back in time to the best Mon Mons of uh, 2019. And yes, you heard me correctly, I did say 2019 and not uh, 2020, which would be the more logical thing to do. Uh, but isn't that just a bit fresh? You know, 2020 was just such a horrible, horrible year. It was a, a garbage dump fire on an exploding train kind of year. I just, I think it would be, you know, better to go back to the rosy, hazy days of 2019 when uh, people frolicked in the streets, uh, you could eat inside of a restaurant, and uh, there was just peace and love everywhere in the world. Those just beautiful days of 2019 where there was nothing wrong, and everything was just going great. So, yes, that's what we're going to do today, is, you know, just take a look back to the best mods of 2019. Uh, but... Uh, you know, of course, we will do a top 10 mods of 2020 video at some point in the near future, but, you know, we do have a few mods I would like to highlight from 2019. And uh, 2019 was just a, a really great year for the Morrowind modding community. Uh, over 1,000 new mods were released in 2019, which at the time was just a record-breaking year. Uh, you know, that's basically more mods than were released at any point since 2007 or 2008. Uh, of course, that record was broken again in 2020, but, you know, we'll get to that more in the Top 10 Mods of 2020 video. But anyway, uh, today, we're just, we're taking a look at my personal uh, Top 10 list of the best mods of 2019. Which, obviously, is not going to be a representative of, you know, all the mods that were released in 2019, because 10 mods out of 1,000, that's only 1%. Uh, so, to try and make up for that, we do have a link to a spreadsheet uh, down below, uh, where you'll find a list of the uh, 300 more notable mods that were released in 2019, organized by category with down links and a list of, uh, you know, the number of endorsements they had on the Nexus as of January of 2020. Uh, so, you know, you can just use that as a bit of a resource guide. Uh, you'll also find down links and timestamps uh, down there as well, so... Uh, you know, with all that out of the way, let's just go ahead and get started here. And uh, we're going to uh, kick things off with number 10. Farsex, Malagmarex, and Aldranex. Uh, three town mods released uh, between January 2nd and July 10th of 2019. By Pinsavin, uh, formerly known as Master Sam. And... Uh, yes, uh, this is just a bit of a preview of what you can expect from this top 10 video. Uh, because it isn't really so much a top 10 as it is a uh, top 20 or a top 30. Uh, because I'm just, you know, I'm stuffing as many mods as I can into each of these categories. Uh, with a thousand mods, I just, I kind of have to. But anyway, uh, these uh, three mods just overhaul and expand. Uh, these uh, three towns, Voss, Malagmar, and Aldrun, uh, giving each a just a massive expansion and a beautiful uh, detailed overhaul. As you can see here with uh, Malagmar, uh, which now has sort of an outer town, uh, you know, just outside of the canton. And uh, really, as of, you know, 2019, I would have said that these were the best uh, town expansions and overhauls for these uh, three towns, you know, uh, Voss, Malagmar, and Aldrun. Because, uh, historically, there haven't been a whole lot of mods that have, you know, really, you know, touched on these settlements. Uh, but, while that might have been true in 2019, it is not true in 2020. Uh, because, in fact, uh, there have been mods released uh, for all three of these towns in 2020 that, you know, both expand and overhaul them. And, arguably, those mods are of a, just a better quality, you know, depending on what you're looking for. And uh, we will, of course, you know, be highlighting uh, those mods in our Top 10 Mods of 2020 video. 
So, you know, just uh, keep in mind that uh, there may have been just better mods uh, released uh, since 2019. But, having said that, uh, these are just still some great mods, and uh, they really just have some beautiful and detailed overhauls and expansions uh, for these uh, three towns. And I would argue that even in 2021, uh, these are just uh, still some of the best mods that you can find uh, for these towns here. I mean, uh, they may not be as good as uh, uh, some of the mods that were released in 2020 in terms of, you know, what you might be looking for, but uh, there's no denying that they just have a lot of uh, quality content. And uh, they do have just a bit for you to uh, do as well. There's uh, one new quest and uh, one new player home. And uh, just uh, quite a bit for you to uh, see here. So uh, even if there are, you know, better mods, you know, out there, I'd still say these are uh, some of the best mods of 2019. Uh, hence why there are number 10 pick for our top 10 list here. But moving on, we have number 9, uh, the quest mods of Gavrillo93. Uh, this is a set of quest mods released by Gavrillo between May 13th and June 24th of 2019, including uh, specifically the Bounty Hunter Bundle, Ashlander Quest, uh, the Census and Excise Office Faction, and a Thieves Guild in Ganar Mark. And uh, yes, uh, that does mean that uh, we're highlighting uh, four mods in our number 9 slot, and now uh, we just did uh, three mods in our number 10 slot, so. Uh, does that mean we'll do 5 mods in our number 8 slot? Uh, well, you'll just have to wait and see, won't you? But, uh, anyway, uh, Gavrilo93 was uh, one of the most prolific mod authors of 2019, uh, releasing uh, 42 uh, new mods in 2019, uh, more than almost anyone else, and a lot of those were just uh, quest mods, and uh, the highlights, really, were, you know, these 4 mods, which uh, combined add about 52 a new quest to the game here, and that's a lot of questing content. Uh, 52 quests, that's... You're, you're talking about hours and hours of content. And uh, one of the things that I like about Gavrilo's mods is that uh, they do just actually blend in with the vanilla game. Uh, you know, they're not uh, adding anything that's not lore-friendly. I mean, they literally just blend in with the game, like they could have just been quests that shipped with the actual game itself. And uh, they mostly just involve, you know, vanilla characters and, uh, you know, going to vanilla dungeons and uh, dealing with vanilla factions. Like, uh, you know, the Bounty Hunter quests involve uh, going out and uh, taking out bandits for, you know, law enforcement. Uh, the Thieves Guild in Ganar Mark just expands the Thieves Guild and, you know, also deals with their conflict with the Kimona Tong. And uh, the Census and Excise Office Faction has uh, this really neat uh, quest, uh, you know, that's based on Papers, Please. And uh, really just all these quests just kind of enhance the Vanilla game, you know, they blend in, they uh, fit perfectly with Vanilla Morrowind, and uh, should, you know, satisfy any purists out there. Uh, but anyway, there's just a ton of content here, and all that just makes it our number 9 pick for the best mods of 2019. And next up, we have a uh, number 8, uh, MWC 2.1 Journal Search and Edit, a gameplay mod released by SV Engineer 99 on May 23rd of 2019. And uh, yes, uh, this is actually just one mod, I know. Crazy, right? Uh, but anyway, this is actually just a really incredible, you know, gameplay mod uh, that basically allows you to uh, add your own journal entries, or edit existing entries, or uh, type in a search term and bring up all the uh, results here. Uh, this really just expands the functionality of the journal system in Morrowind. And, uh, you know, I would say that in the vanilla game, uh, the journal system in Morrowind is actually the best one out of any of the journal systems in uh, the Elder Scrolls series. You know, uh, you know, Skyrim's is basically just a glorified objectives list, so that's not really uh, saying a whole lot. Uh, but one of the things it was lacking was the ability to, uh, you know, actually search your journal and add new entries and things of that nature. And now you can, and this just has a lot of great role-playing potential. Uh, not only that, uh, but this also allows you to collect any book art that you come across. Uh, so, 
if you open up a book and uh, there's an image or, you know, some art in it, uh, you can copy that into your journal and make a new journal entry uh, using that image. And uh, you can resize it, uh, scale it back, add a caption. Uh, there's just a lot you can do here. And it is just a really amazing, you know, addition uh, to the journal system. And uh, not only is it just a lot of fun to play around with, uh, but again, you know, it has a lot of great role-playing potential, and it's also just really convenient, you know, the ability to uh, search for anything in your journal is just uh, really handy. So, you know, all that combined uh, really makes this, uh, you know, uh, more than worthy of being our number eight uh, pick for the top ten mods of 2019, and I would just, I would highly, highly recommend it. Uh, next up, we have uh, number 7, Quick Loot, a gameplay mod released on January 6th of 2019 by Mord. Uh, this is just another really amazingly convenient and uh, fantastic gameplay mod uh, that basically implements the, uh, you know, the uh, quick looting system of uh, Fallout 4 in Morrowind. Uh, this allows you to just uh, quickly and easily loot any sort of container in the entire game. Uh, that goes both for, you know, regular containers and, you know, dead NPCs and creatures or whatever. And, you know, you can just hover your cursor over any container and uh, select uh, which items you want to loot from that container without opening a single menu. And uh, you can also do this, uh, you know, with uh, just looting everything. So you could just hit the X button and loot every item in that container. Uh, to uh, say the least, uh, this will just save you a ton of time. It is just such a major convenience mod, and uh, that's why it just, you know, barely edges out MWC Journal uh, Search and Edit, in my opinion, just uh, because it will just save you so much time. It is uh, pretty much a must-have mod in, you know, my estimation. Uh, really, I just, I can't imagine playing the game without it. It is, I think, you know, a requirement. And, you know, this, along with NWC Journal Search and Edit, I would just highly recommend both. And uh, that's what makes it, you know, our number 7 pick for the top 10 mods of 2019. Uh, going on, we have uh, number 6, uh, Graphic Herbalism, MWC and OpenMW Edition, a gameplay and a graphics mod released on May 1st of 2019 by uh, Superstar and Greatness7. Uh, this uh, might actually be the most popular mod uh, released for Morrowind in 2019, uh, you know, in terms of endorsements and downloads. And it's a remake of uh, one of the most popular mods uh, for Morrowind uh, just of all time. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, when Morrowind shipped, uh, Morrowind kind of treated all plants as just irregular old containers. Uh, you had to actually open up each container plant, drag the ingredient over to your inventory, and, uh, you know, do that each and every time you harvested a plant. It was a very tedious process, and uh, what the original uh, Graphic Herbalism did is that it automated harvesting, and also, you know, made it so that uh, there would be uh, visual cues that you had actually already harvested a plant and had, you know, already picked it. So, you know, you wouldn't be going to the, you know, same plant and trying to harvest it again after you already had. Uh, I know this sounds like very simple stuff, but, you know, this is stuff that was missing in Vanilla Morrowind. And as you might imagine, it was a very popular mod because it just saved so much time and was so convenient. Uh, the problem is, is that uh, the original mod was not very performance friendly. It was a huge memory hog. It had to, it basically did this by adding hundreds of scripts to every single container plant in the entire game. Uh, so as you might imagine, that was just not good for performance, but uh, what this mod does, you know, this remake, is it does everything that uh, the original did, only it does it without the performance impact. Uh, there is virtually no performance impact with this mod uh, at all. Uh, not only that, but it improves upon the concept by adding automatic uh, modded support, so uh, any mods that add new plants to the game will automatically be supported. Uh, this includes uh, Terry Bill, uh, Province Cyrodiil, uh, Skyrim Home of the Norns, Marjorie Birth, uh, anything you can think of is just 
automatically supported, and uh, this is just a huge convenience mod. Uh, not only that, but I would argue that it is a just a must-have mod, and I know I've said that a lot already, but uh, you know it's true. Uh, this is just a must-have mod. It's just utterly convenient and will uh, save you a ton of time. And that makes it our number six pick for the top ten mods of 2019. Uh, that brings us to number five. A Merlord's Character Backgrounds, a gameplay mod released on May 23rd of 2019 by a Merlord. Uh, we've been doing a lot of gameplay mods, but uh, you know we will have a bit more variety here in a moment. So anyway, uh, what this mod does is it expands the character generation process by adding in a new step uh, where you can choose from uh, one of 27 uh, unique character backgrounds. Uh, this includes uh, things like phobias, occupations, unique traits, and uh, things of that nature, uh, each of which have positive and negative, you know, attributes. So, uh, for example, uh, you could uh, choose to be claustrophobic, and uh, that means you would take a hit in terms of stats when you go inside. Uh, you know, you, your stats would be basically drained, uh, but when out in the open world, uh, your stats would actually get a bonus. And the inverse of this would be agoraphobia, which is, you know, the same thing, but in reverse. And uh, this is just a lot like the perk system in Fallout, and, uh, you know, especially Fallout New Vegas. And unlike uh, Fallout New Vegas, you know, some of these perks are just uh, really creative. And like, you could choose the famed warrior, uh, which basically starts you out with a really powerful long blade. Uh, but... Uh, fame comes at a cost because and uh, now there are people who just want to kill you uh, because uh, you're famous uh, so you could be out on the road and uh, get attacked by just a random stranger who's trying to make their own name and uh, then there's the rat king which allows you to uh, basically create a rat army uh, because any rat you encounter will just automatically follow you and fight beside you uh, but now you can't interact with a civilization because uh, really everyone kind of hates you because uh, You know if you're hanging out with a bunch of rats uh, You probably don't have the best hygiene now do you? Uh, there's a ton of generic, you know traits like boy uh, which gives you a plus 10 to strength and a negative 10 to intelligence and uh, you could just hit the randomize button and uh, get a completely random background uh, there's just a lot of great stuff here. Uh, this is a great role-playing mod, and that just gives you a ton of new ways to play and experience the game. Uh, that obviously, you know, makes it our number 5 pick for the top 10 mods of 2019. And I would just highly, highly recommend it. It's just a lot of fun to play around with. But uh, going on, we have uh, number 4, uh, Vardenfell and Solstein World Space Remaster. A landmass, graphics, and landscape mod are released on May 27th of 2019 by Waldy BB and uh, the VSW team. Uh, this is uh, one of the largest mods to be released in 2019, like in terms of scale and the amount of content. Uh, just, it is the largest mod of 2019, uh, period. Uh, basically, it just, it completely and utterly remakes the island of Solstein. The entire island. Uh, you know, uh, Solstein was added by the Blood Moon expansion, and uh, to be honest, it wasn't that great looking originally. You know, it was a very flat island uh, that had a few hills that the game called uh, mountains, though they weren't really. Uh, so, what this mod does is uh, basically transform uh, Solstein into, uh, well, a mini Skyrim. I mean, that's basically what it does. Uh, it transforms Solstein into, you know, a Skyrim-like landscape with actual mountains, uh, dense forests, cliffside coastlines, and uh, ancient ruins that, uh, you know, look like the Nordic Barrows found in uh, Skyrim. And it just, it completely and utterly transforms this once dull and boring landscape into just a truly breathtakingly beautiful and a scenic landscape that is a joy to explore and uh, get lost in. And uh, chances are you will get lost in it because uh, these are actual dense forests and uh, you know the terrain here is fairly dynamic with a lot of verticality 
uh, ravines, valleys, uh, hidden pits in the ground that you could accidentally fall into. Uh, there's exterior caves that you can just uh, discover. Uh, there's just a thousand and one details in this island uh, for you to find, and it is just a absolutely beautifully uh, crafted experience that includes uh, a ton of stuff that we're not even mentioning. Uh, what you're seeing here is just a tiny, tiny snippet of just everything that this mod does. It's, uh, you know, it's a huge mod, and it includes a lot of things like, you know, uh, graphical replaces for the assets, uh, new creatures, uh, support for animated ground cover, and just a, a ton of other things that we don't really have time to get into. Uh, needless to say, this is the ultimate Solstein experience, and uh, that just makes it our uh, number four pick for the best mods of 2019. But uh, coming up on the final set of mods here, we have number three, as uh, easier ground cover, grass mod, and Ramirez's ground cover. Uh, two graphics mods released on February 11th of 2019 by Right Teller, and May 9th of 2019 by Ramirez, Vitastack, and Hintchimd, respectively. Uh, these are just, uh, these are two of the only animated ground cover mods released uh, from Morrowind, so uh, they were pretty much guaranteed to make it into our top 10 list here. Uh, before uh, 2019, uh, there were only two animated ground cover mods from Morrowind, uh, Ozzy's Ground Cover, uh, released in 2010, and uh, Vert's Ground Cover, which was uh, also released in 2010, I think, uh, but it was last updated in 2013, so, uh, you know, it's been a really long time since we last had any new animated Ground Cover mods uh, from Morrowind, uh, so the uh, fact that we got two in the same year is just, it's uh, really astounding, uh, you know, especially, you know, given that uh, you know, Vanilla Morrowind didn't have any ground cover. Uh, you know, it shipped with just uh, flat ground textures, and uh, that was it. So, as you can imagine, uh, ground cover mods just uh, go a really long way to making the game just uh, feel uh, more modern in terms of graphics. And uh, these are just some really fantastic ground cover mods uh, to check out here. You know, uh, Ramirez's ground cover, which is uh, what we're taking a look at here, is... Maybe the slightly better of the two, in terms of just uh, technical qualities. Uh, it includes not just, uh, you know, grass, but also mushrooms and rocks and other bits of terrain detailing in the uh, ground cover here. And it's just, it's a really beautiful uh, ground cover edition that covers the entire game and, uh, you know, really makes these landscapes uh, come alive. And not only that, but it also includes support for you know, terrain built with a unique uh, ground cover for the Anthurian region, uh, though it is just a bit more uh, performance heavy than Asesia ground cover, uh, which, you know, is more uh, vanilla friendly and is more performance friendly. Uh, it doesn't have as much of an impact and is also, you know, a rather scenic ground cover mod uh, that also uh, supports the entire game including the Bitter Coast, the Ascain Isles, the Ashlands, the Grayslands, the West Gash, and it also has unique ground cover for, uh, you know, Terry Builds and Therian region. Uh, so this just means that uh, both of these mods have uh, full support for Terry Builds uh, mainland, which is, uh, you know, just really handy, uh, gives you a few options to uh, choose from. And of course, they both also, you know, include support for uh, the island of Solstein, though only Ramirez's ground cover has support for VSW. But anyway, you know, uh, whichever, you know, ground cover mod you use, uh, this is just a, a really beautiful addition to the game that, you know, really makes the landscapes uh, feel more alive, and that's why they're both, uh, just uh, combined, our number three pick for the top ten mods of 2019. But uh, moving on to our penultimate mod, uh, we have number two, Magicka Expanded, a gameplay mod released on August 28th of 2019 by Operator Jack and Red Furry Demon. Uh, this is uh, one of the, if not the, largest uh, overhauls of Morrowind's magic system uh, to be released uh, to date. Uh, it adds over 109 uh, new magic effects and, you know, magical spells that you can cast. 
Uh, the closest uh, comparison I can come up with, you know, for this is maybe Midas Magic for Oblivion. Uh, it just, you know, it adds that much content. And uh, basically, it adds new uh, spell tomes that you can find in bookshops or just out in the wilderness uh, that you can use to learn these uh, new spells. And uh, there's just a ton of fun, you know, magical mechanics that have been added in here, like the ability to uh, clone NPCs and creatures and have them uh, fight beside you. Uh, which can, you know, just make for some uh, rather interesting uh, combat uh, situations. There's also a ton of new spells to basically just uh, control the weather. Uh, so you can change the weather just uh, whenever you want. So you can make it rain, or you can make it snow. Uh, or you can just, you know, uh, cast a blizzard or a blight storm in the middle of Bomora. You know, just whatever you want. Uh, you can do that. This just gives you a lot of creative freedom. Uh, assuming, of course, that you have enough magicka to actually, you know, cast uh, the uh, spell here. Uh, but anyway, one of the uh, new spell effects, and uh, one of my favorites is the Blink spell, which is, I think, based off of the, you know, the Blink power from Dishonored. And uh, basically, it allows you to zip around and, you know, kind of uh, fast travel in short distances by casting a spell that uh, teleports you to just wherever it lands. Uh, this is a great way to just navigate, you know, vertical environments, or, you know, environments with just a lot of verticality. Or, you know, to just, uh, real quick get to the other side of town by just, uh, flinging a spell. So, you know, you don't have to do any mark and recall. It does, you know, save you a bit of time. But anyway, uh, this package just includes a ton of new magical effects, uh, some of which are combat-based, like the clone spell. Uh, but a lot more are really just, you know, geared towards convenience, you know, saving you a bit of time. Like there's a ton of new fast travel spells that allow you to uh, fast travel to uh, any of the games of Vanilla Towns, or, uh, for that matter, uh, any of the major settlements on the Towering Built mainland. Uh, so you can just, you can cast a spell and immediately be in Port Telvanis, or back in Balmora, or on the island of Gorn, or... Uh, you know, Old Ebonheart, or just uh, wherever you want. Of course, uh, you do still have to find the spell tomes to, uh, you know, unlock these uh, spells first, and, uh, you know, there is the magical requirements, but, uh, you know, this is just a really convenient way to get around Morrowind that, uh, you know, has a lot of modded support. Uh, there's also a ton of new uh, summoning spells that allow you to uh, summon things like Minotaurs, Velks, uh, Six House Creatures, uh, Dwemer Centurions, and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, there is just a ton of variety in this package, and, uh, you know, this is, again, really just a must-have mod. Uh, you know, especially if you're playing a magic-based character. Uh, there's just a little something for everyone here, and uh, this also includes a framework to add uh, just new spell effects to the game, so, you know, that's also something to keep in mind. Uh, but anyway, all that, just uh, combined, makes this our number two pick for the best mods of 2019. And uh, that brings us to number one and our mod of the year, uh, Pincushion, Weather Adjuster, and Perfect Placement. A set of gameplay mods released on June 1st, May 27th, and April 19th of 2019 respectively, by Huntchimmed. And, uh, yes, uh, this is uh, three mods that we're doing for our number one slot here. And uh, the reason for that is because they're all by the uh, same modder, uh, you know, Hunchimmed, uh, who is also just one of the most influential modders in the community. Uh, he is a core contributor to MGXC, uh, the program that we use to uh, get distant land, uh, grass generation, uh, shader support, and... You know, basically, a lot of the things that we use to make Morrowind just uh, look as good as it does. And he's also a core contributor to uh, the Morrowind code patch and MWC. So, you know, he's had a hand in a lot of the things that, you know, basically uh, modernize Morrowind. And in 2019, he released three mods that are, you know, especially noteworthy. Uh, the first of which is Pincushion. Uh, which just, you know, allows for uh, your arrows, bolts, throwing knives, throwing stars, and dots to, 
uh, just actually show up and embed into objects, NPCs, and creatures. And uh, also, uh, your player character, so uh, when you get shot with an arrow, uh, you can actually see that, you know, there will actually be an arrow sticking out of your own character. And as uh, crazy as it sounds, uh, this is just another thing that wasn't in uh, Vanilla Morrowind. Uh, due to a just a engine limitation, uh, when you shot an arrow, it just it disappeared. It didn't embed into anything. It just disappeared. And you know this is something they added in with Oblivion and you know obviously Skyrim, but you know just wasn't in Morrowind. And uh, you know it's it's mostly just a cosmetic mod, but it is you know a pretty big deal. And uh, the second of these mods is Perfect Placement, uh, which is another mod that, you know, kind of adds something that Oblivion and uh, Skyrim had, but Morrowind didn't, and, and that's the ability to just grab objects in the environment and, you know, just move them around. So, in Vanilla Morrowind, uh, you had to, you know, pick up objects and add them to your inventory, uh, then sort of just do this sort of song and dance where you dropped an object out of your inventory onto the ground and then picked it up again to readjust it and reposition it. It was just this entire just tedious and not very intuitive, you know, way of uh, decorating interiors. It, it, ah, gosh, I don't even want to think of how many hours of my life I wasted doing that. And perfect placement just, you know, does away with all that. Uh, now you can just move objects around in real time and uh, rotate them and even attach them to like, you know, a wall here. So uh, you can have some just really nice decorations going on in your home. And uh, this just, this works with pretty much every item in the game. You know, every item that you can pick up, you can just, you know, grab and just move around in real time. And it is just a huge, huge convenience mod. But anyway, uh, that brings us to just the last mod in our top 10 number one sort tier, uh, which is a Weather Adjuster. And it's a bit different uh, from the other two mods in our top 10, you know, spot tier. But uh, uh, basically, it allows you to, uh, well, control the weather, which just, uh, you know, that feels a bit obvious with the name. But in addition to that, it allows you to change the color palette, lighting, and uh, even the uh, skies for uh, regional weather just in real time. So, it, essentially, this gives you the ability to create custom shaders for each uh, region, like the West Gash, the Bitter Coast, or uh, the Eskane Isles, uh, just all in game or in real time. So, uh, you know, if you want uh, the uh, skies in, uh, say, the West Gash to have a pinkish hue, uh, you could do that. You could open up the color palette and uh, just go to the, uh, you know, the pink color scheme for the uh, sky and choose that. And uh, you can also choose a color for the ambient lighting and, you know, basically just make each region in the game just feel completely different with its own color scheme. Uh, each time you can just, you know, save that color scheme as a preset and apply it to any particular region you want. Uh, so if you want, you know, dark blue lighting in the Ascaden Isles and, uh, you know, uh, green lighting in the Bitter Coast, uh, you can do that. Uh, this mod just, you know, this gives you just so much uh, potential to really make the game uh, feel more unique and just look the way you want it to look. Uh, again, uh, this basically, you know, gives you the ability to create uh, your own custom shaders and color palettes just in-game, in real time. And I can't think of anything that even comes close to doing this, you know, out there. It is just, it is such a cool feature and it gives you just so much customization. Uh, really, this would be just mod of the year material just uh, by itself, but uh, combined with the other two mods, there's you know, there's no question that this, uh, you know, these three mods combined uh, just deserve to be our number one pick for the best mods of 2019. Uh, but uh, don't go anywhere. Uh, we do still have two honorable mentions. Uh, uh, the first of which is 
A Next Generation Combat, a gameplay mod released on July 21st of 2019 by Araceli. Uh, this is just a combat overhaul mod that uh, overhauls combat to uh, make it so that you have a 100% chance to hit. Only, it doesn't just do that. You know, there's plenty of mods that do that, but in Next Generation Combat is uh, really the best combat mod from Morrowind, and uh, the reason for that is because it doesn't it just add a 100% chance to hit, it it does a lot more than that uh, to make sure that the game still, you know, remains balanced and that you still have a chance at actual progression. Uh, you know, one of the main issues that most combat mods run into is that uh, they focus only on Morrowind's uh, dice roll, you know, combat mechanics, and they try and fix that uh, by making it a 100% chance to hit, and that kind of breaks the game a bit, and also kind of just ruins the progression system in Morrowind. So, what a next generation combat does is it adds a new uh, progression system uh, based around weapon perks like, you know, Skyrim. So as you progress, uh, you unlock new perks for uh, whatever type of weapon that you're using, and each type of weapon has different kinds of weapon perks, so uh, short planes will get uh, critical strike perks, uh, axes can cause bleeding, uh, which is, you know, damage over an extended time. Uh, blunt weapons cause uh, stun, uh, which can, you know, just uh, stun your opponents for a few seconds. Uh, long blades get multi-strikes, basically, you know, a free attack. Uh, bonus damage on full draw with long bows. Uh, crossbows can get a just a faster reload time. Uh, thrown weapons get uh, critical strikes, and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, basically, this not only keeps the progression system, but also makes it so that the type of weapon you use can just really change uh, combat uh, quite a bit here. And I should note that uh, NPCs can also get weapon perks, so, uh, you know, you might get stunned or uh, bleed out from an axe wound. And uh, this really makes combat, you know, faster and just a lot more interesting and also just a lot more fun to play around with. Uh, you know, hence why I'm just, I'm including it here in our top 10 list. Uh, but that brings us to our final honorable mention, uh, Cedanine and Pure Port, a, a town mod released on July 8th of 2019 by Atreus. Uh, this is just a complete uh, and utter overhaul of Cedanine. Uh, there's... Uh, basically nothing left of the vanilla Cedanine here, which is, you know, the town that you start the uh, game out in. Uh, basically, this just uh, massively expands and, you know, turns Cedanine into a proper port city, uh, with dozens of new buildings, including, uh, you know, new shops, taverns, uh, alehouses, and, you know, other homes. Uh, this also adds in a pretty just massive harbor, uh, that, you, you know, can dock multiple ships, so, you know, this uh, feels like the proper, uh, you know, port of entry for those coming to Vardenfell. And, uh, uh, really, this is just an utterly scenic and beautiful town overhaul uh, that includes a lot of just uh, really creative elements, like, I especially like this uh, lighthouse here, uh, which is just off on its own little island and uh, acts as... Uh, just an iconic beacon of entry into a Cedanine, and uh, you can see it from just all over the uh, city, and also just from a large chunk of the Bitter Coast, adding a nice bit of verticality to the landscape here. Uh, but anyway, there's also uh, new canals that you know run through uh, Cedanine, uh, which is just another just really interesting addition here, and there's just a lot of cluttering and detailing and. Again, this is just a really beautiful and highly detailed mod that really just uh, makes the way you start the game feel just a bit different. I mean, uh, in the vanilla game, uh, you know, Cedanine was just a tiny uh, village, and and now it's it's kind of like you're starting the game in an urban environment, which uh, you know can just uh, kind of affect the way you start the game a bit. You know how it feels and. Uh, how long you spend in town before heading out into the wilderness. And if you're like me and you've been playing this game since 2002, it can be kind of nice to just 
uh, you know, start off the game with a just a completely different experience, and, uh, you know, this uh, mod just kind of hits that right on the head. It does include uh, some new content, and uh, there's a new quest here that you can do, and just overall, I think this is a beautiful looking town mod. Uh, there's clearly been quite a bit of work and talent involved in building this, uh, you know, this uh, version of Cedanine. It's uh, certainly worth checking out and, you know, playing through at least once, but anyway, that's just our last mod in our top 10 list. As always, the down links are just down below, so, uh, you know, thanks for watching. And if there's a mod that we may have missed that you think should have been included here, uh, you know, feel free to just share it down in the comments below. But anyway, just uh, real quick, I would like to thank all the just amazing modders who released mods in 2019 and just made 2019 such a record-breaking year. Uh, you know, he is hoping we can do the same in 2021, and anyway, I'm just, I'm going to leave off here, so again, uh, thanks for watching, stay safe, stay healthy, happy modding, and I'll just, I'll uh, see you all for the next top 10 video.